Hi, I'm Eden. I'm Daniel. And I'm Daniel. Our problem statement is basically, well, we launch a rocket into the air. It's a small uh, Estes rocket, model rocket, and we're going to calculate the drag force uh, from air as a function of time. So we did a force diagram when the rocket is in motion. We have a thrust going upwards. We have the weight, mg, working, acting downward on the rocket. We have the drag force also acting downward on the rocket. So the components of this equation is we have thrust, weight of the rocket, mass of the rocket, time acceleration. <coughs> the first component, thrust, <coughs> the way we're able to get that equation is we took a curve from ST's catalog, we put it on Excel, and we try to get a function of the thrust uh, versus time. Once we did that, <coughs> we were able to get, we integrated that to get the equation of the mass of the engine reduced. On the top right, you can see the graph given from the Estes catalog. From this data, we were able to achieve that trend line using the Excel. Of the rocket, we used a uh, mass of the rocket times gravity, and the mass of the rocket is the mass initial minus the mass of the engine as it's being uh, reduced when it's going into the air. To assume that the, the reduction of mass is proportional, uh, the rate at which it's reducing is proportional to the rate at which the thrust is, a, you know, a magnitude of the thrust. In this graph, we have the engine mass consumed versus time, which is the blue line, and the rate of mass consumed versus time, which is the green line. The uh, equation for acceleration, well, we got that by taking the image or the video that we, f we got from the rocket blast and then getting small increments of velocity and then taking the uh, instantaneous velocities and finding instantaneous acceleration and then plotting that in Excel and getting an equation to best fit that line. In order to track our uh, launch, we needed to set up a plane perpendicular to the camera and reference two points and be able to, because of the perspective differences, the, the length is shortened, so we needed some kind of scale. We used it, we did the launch at night so we could see these uh, very bright and we also put some LEDs in the rocket in order to see where the rocket was. A tracking program was used to analyze the motion of our rocket. Here you can see the, the track points of the rocket. With the data taken from this program you can see our estimated curve of acceleration found from using Excel. Here are the equations described by Eden Emanuel and the equation of the drag force calculated from those. Highway to